This is one of the six books removed from Dearborn Public Schools this fall. Reading through it, there is graphic sexual detail. I spoke to some people who say having this in public schools is inappropriate, and some people who say it's necessary. This isn't book banning. This is pornography. That's Hassan Chami, a Dearborn parent who has been instrumental in the movement to remove six sexually explicit books, four of which do contain LGBTQ plus themes from public schools. The media and the people who are opposing our stance keep saying send a, a book banning. Okay, these are fear mongering yeah. political rhetoric. In an interview with me, Hassan expressed that he's frustrated people keep saying this is about LGBTQ plus themes. He says it's not. But it's about the sexually explicit material, which after purchasing and reading through some of the books ourselves, we can confirm is in them, including graphic depictions of rape and instructions for finding online and performing different styles of intercourse. There's limits for a reason. So all of a sudden now we're, we're, we want to um, have these children be exposed to explicit material at such a young age. A report by PEN America found that 41% of books being banned across the country contain LGBTQ plus themes. Kathleen Battles is a queer scholar at Oakland University. She told me she insists that this is what the fight is about. She believes these books are imperative for queer students growing up in heterosexual homes. They might not be able to learn about that with their families, but in a, in a different kind of environment with educators and with uh, peers, they can learn about those things. Is a sexually explicit material necessary, do you believe? I think in, in the long run, I, yes, representation itself is more important than sexually explicit material. But the fact is, <laughs> is that if you look at our broader culture, it's full of sexually explicit material. Michigan law states media materials containing graphic and or gratuitous violence, sexual content, expletives, or hate speech, and without literary or educational merit, should not be included in our school media centers. The dean of university libraries at Oakland University tells me school librarians know this and they follow a detailed process when picking out books. I trust that expertise because it's just, it's not a willy-nilly, oh, this looks good, I think I'll put it in the collection. No, there are standards and there are policies that, that guide uh, what we select for our collections. Across Michigan, the fight continues. In the last year, these books have been removed from Troy, Rochester, and Novi Public School libraries. In Ottawa County, residents defunded their only library because of its LGBTQ plus collection. In Hillsdale, residents tried to ban books containing transgender themes. Experts say they haven't seen this level of opposition in schools since the 1980s. I think that for certain groups of people, it pushes against their own beliefs, their religious beliefs, their moral beliefs. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, LGBTQIA kids exist. And they're going to exist whether you ban books. It's mm. supposed to be a safe place. Yeah. It's supposed to be an environment away from politics, away from progressive ideology. In Rochester, Sarah Grimmer, 7 Action News.